Let's do 8051C program to arrange the series of 32 bit numbers in ascending or descending order. So open key software. So you have to open, right click on the source group and add new item to the source. And we are adding C program. So write and give some suitable name. Send 32 bit. Okay, sending 32 bit or some, some name you can give. Sending 32 bit. And dot C automatically it will be added. And you can type your program. So register 51.h header file you have to include for all 8051 related programs. Wide main open bracket close bracket unsigned long array and initialize array with five 32 bit data. For 32 bit data, you have to declare it as long. If you want the same program, if you want to arrange the 16 bit data, instead of long, type int and give only four extra digits. Okay, like uh, only 666, uh, then only last uh, a, 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 B, B, like that. Only 16 bits you only have to give. And if it is 8 bit program, declare it as char, char and give only one one byte that is a uh, a six six five five like that only one one byte value you have to give and sign long temp i comma j for i is equal to zero i less five i less than five why this five means five data as we used here so you have to take five here if you give ten data type ten here i plus plus uh, inside this for loop one more for loop you have to use next state for loop for j is equal to 0 j less than 5 j plus plus after that we have to check j of z uh, array of j greater than array of j plus 1 if the current element is greater than uh, next element then you have to exchange those two here Okay, first you have to load that uh, next value to some temporary uh, some to location. Then uh, j plus one value should be placed in the array of j, and after that array of j is replaced with the temp value. So this is first inner loop uh, verification will be done. After the end of this j loop for j j less than five j plus plus, the highest element will go to the last position here okay that will complete only in the first uh, j for j loop if then next uh, yes number if you want to bring it to the second uh, year next uh, outer for loop will execute i plus plus will takes place and again uh, initially i value is zero next i value is one one less than five it, again it will execute this after the end of second for loop the second highest number will come here again i plus plus will take place next third uh, highest number will come here and after the last for loop okay the smallest number will come to here and finally the array initially it is an, uh, initialized with uh, in random order it will be ordered in ascending order so let us compile this program build target zero errors zero warnings start debug so open call stack window this is this window call stack window if you open you will get this window otherwise you can also open uh, watch window and you can type the expression as a uh, array and temp and all you can you have to type here otherwise automatically all the local variables stack variables are available you can take here so array you can see array of zero array of one array of two array of three array of four temp i and j so first statement array is initialized with this data what we had given here i is equal to zero i less than five initial value of i is zero j is also initialized to zero array of j j is actually zero so array of zero is 
three three five five six six. Okay, three three five five six six is greater than if three three four four three five six is greater than array of j plus one. It is comparing first data with second data. First data, if it is greater, if the first data is greater than second data, then what happens you see here no need to exchange okay so it is not done any swapping so again it will go back here j plus plus will takes place j plus plus will takes place after that it is comparing i of j because j after j uh, array of one is this value cc so now this condition is true cc aa dd 0 0 is greater than 559988 so now swapping will take place so temp is loaded with array of j plus 1 that is 5599 will be loaded there j plus 1 and i of array of j plus 1 will be placed in array of j position so exchange will take place Okay, this data is exchanged and uh, this is replaced with 5599. These two gets exchanged. Again, I, J plus plus will take place. New value of array of J is, uh, the current value of this J is this one and it is compared with 77. These two are compared and again condition is true. So swapping will take place. CC will come to this position. 77 will go to this position. Now exchanged. Again, J plus plus will take place. Again, CC is greater than 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So these two data are also get exchanged. Okay, after this, J plus plus takes place. Now condition fails. This condition fails. So it will come out of the second for loop. Again, actually, this second for loop is written inside the first for loop. So again, it will go back to the first for loop. I plus plus will take place. So now I is incremented by one. I is incremented by one. Okay. After the end of the first for loop, you can observe the highest element is present here okay these these are not arranged in ascending order after the first for loop okay this highest element is coming here now out uh, the outer for loop is going to execute i plus plus will take place this one is less than five once again it will execute this for j loop okay so uh, now observe second highest number will come to highest position So they are exchanging. Once j becomes 5, you can see second highest number is here. Okay, next i plus plus which takes place. Once i value becomes 5, now it will come out of the outer for loop also and it will be stay forever because while one it is true always it will stay here only now see the datas here okay, array of zero is least number array of one is next uh, year number next year number next year number next year number so these five datas initially they are in random order now they are arranged in ascending order so if you want to convert this program to descending order you need to change this uh, symbol into this uh, greater than no this one you change it to less than okay for example i will show copy this full code and change this one to I'll create one more project and uh, place change this one to less than 
Okay. I'll remove this file. Right click, add new item to the course, course book. If I descending, descend 32 bit. Paste the program and change this one to this. Now compile this program, start debug. So same logic. I'll just execute fast so that uh, the data will uh, finally the data will be in descending order. The highest number here and least number at the end. So if we initially initially the data are based in random order. Now we'll execute faster. After the completion of j is equal to five, least number should come to fourth. I have j of array of four. See here. J comes 5. Now, least number out of all 5, it is here. But these are not in uh, descending. So, again, it will increment i. i value is being incremented by 1. Again, the entire another for loop will execute. Now, second least number will come to third position. i is 5. So, th this is now i think all are in the descending order only but still it will execute uh, a remaining full code this will repeat until j is equal to 5 no exchange will take place because already all other data are already uh, automatically arranged in a descending order so now let's just stop this program and you can see highest number next to highest number and it is in the descending order so same program only thing is you need to change this uh, greater than to less than thank you